YouTube, it's Paul Winner again. You may have already seen my other videos about my Samsung Vibrant rooted with Eugene and some Bionics ROMs. Well, today I have just installed Eugene's Franken Vibrant ROM. It's an update to the previous ROM. So let's go ahead, go ahead and have a little run through with that. All right. So I do apologize in advance for the camera quality. I am using my Nexus One as a video recorder right now. Um, so I don't have my normal camera, so please bear with it. So in this update, um, with this Franken ROM series actually, um, he uses TW Launcher, which is, uh, which is Samsung's normal uh, launcher. And he changed the boot screen, obviously. Um, the new update brings uh, a better GPS fix to it. It includes the leaked ROM from uh, Samsung. It has uh, various files thrown into there. Um, it has a standard 2.1 Android lock screen. It, this ROM is still a 2.1 base. Don't get anything confused now. Um, let's see. He says he added flash to it, but I am not sure what type of flash. Maybe flash beta. Uh, again, I'm not sure what he means by that. So. Let's go ahead and run through this. I just uh, reinstalled all my things, all my messages, stuff like that. TW Launcher. So, seven home screens now instead of the five which he had in his other ROM. I think he had five, I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, Allow. That's a super user request, by the way, if you're wondering. Let's go to Home. And then in this ROM, you, I do believe you can uh, customize the bottom row by going to the Application menu. Click on that. View type. Uh, let's see. Did he change it? I don't know. I'm not sure how he changed it. Well, he changed it a little. Um, in the previous ROM, you were able to click on the menu button and then click on uh, edit, and then uh, you can change these bottom rows. Um, I'm not 100% sure how you would change it in this ROM, so it is uh, a bit different from the older one. I did like the other launcher because you can customize the bottom, but now you can't. Well, I'm not sure how. I'm not going to say that you can't. To fix the alphabetical order, everything is alphabetical order now, which is good. Um, let's go to messages. Uh, let's see. No limits. Let's make a new message. He has used the swipe keyboard. It's an updated version of the other swipe keyboard. Not sure which version it is, but just know that it's an updated version. There is also the HTC keyboard, if you like that. There is no swipe in the HTC keyboard, but it is a great keyboard. I like to use it, but I use swipe because it's faster. Let's change it back. And let's go to the main part, which is the phone part. And right here, you just you just uh, type in a number and some number pops up right there and it'll tell you the contact so you shouldn't uh, have to worry about that too much. It's a great little feature, I like it. And then call logs, favorites, contacts, tells you uh, contact tips. You can either swipe to the left and you can send a message to them right there or swipe to the right and it'll tell you to call them. Cool little feature right there. Oops. Contacts. You can import your contacts uh, from Get Friends or create a contact. Display options works. Hopefully, yes, it does. Um, so you can save wherever you, uh, save any new contact wherever you want it. So a SIM card, phone, or Gmail. Let's go back home. I am wondering how you change that. 
Sometimes it gets on my nerves that you can't change it. But anyways, there's some Samsung widgets right there for those who do like the Samsung widgets. They're all right there. Um, buddies, calendar, feeds and updates, internet, photo, program monitor, and widget memo. So, and then there's your standard Android widgets. Any of these widgets that you see right here are not um, like these weather and flip clock. That's one of my favorite widgets to have. Usually I have it installed, but I didn't put it on there because a lot of people do get confused whether or not it comes with it. This application does not come with it, so yeah, it doesn't come with it. Okay, so let's go to calendar. It's the plain old calendar again. Some again, some people like the other uh, calendar that was stock, but some people like this one. It's really up to you if you want it or not. So, oops. So there's a little clock right here. It's a cool little desk clock application. Alarms. Uh, go back home. Sound, music, pictures, brightness. Go back home. Throw that in the trash. And then let's go to the camera. Uh, it utilizes the Samsung Galaxy S international version of the camera. So uh, Eugene tweaked it a little bit better. Um, I really love this camera. Great camera. If you saw my other video about my Nexus One with the uh, HTC Desire ROM. This was the phone that was recording it. I think it was great for recording that over my Nexus One. But let's see how the Nexus One holds up with the camera. So let's do a little doo doo jump. See if there's any lags or anything. I did a little doo doo jump test just to show that it doesn't lag because a lot of these ROMs have weird, funky deals that just mess up games, simple games like this one where it shouldn't even lag, but some phones do lag, and I am not noticing any lag to it, so that's a good thing. Exit. Let's go to gallery. There's a 3D gallery right here. As you can see, it all just pops up right there. Um, see, it's a 3D-ish gallery. You can just scroll through it. Little beach pictures right here. It's a little pelican right there, if you're wondering. That's how close I was. Camera quality on the Vibrant is superb, even without the flash. Uh, let's go to market. See how fast the market goes. Games. Pretty quick to load up. I'm on a Wi-Fi. I'm pretty far from my Wi-Fi base, so that's why it may take a little longer than usual to uh, show to load up. Yeah. Let's see. Let's go to music. It's the standard uh, music player right here. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. And then let's see. Anything else? Let's go to settings. Um, it's all colorful right here. That's what I like about it. It doesn't show any old black and white stuff like the, Vi like the Nexus One does. So that's a good thing. Uh, it's the phone storage 1.68 gigs left to install that's after I installed all those applications you saw there um, comes with a built-in task manager let's try to load up the website why is GPS turning on I don't know no oh, that's why it wants to know my location decline so let's go to Yahoo
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Google everything pretty quickly. So you can either press the search button or not. Okay. So let's see. What else is there? <clears throat> I think the YouTube is a high quality YouTube viewer, actually. I'm not sure. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Just click on one of these things. If you're wondering about what case I have, it's a just a standard T-Mobile case. I just bought it from the T-Mobile store. Um, pretty good case. Uh, it covers up the chrome part right here. So if you have, let's say, an invisible shield or ghost armor, um, the invisible shield won't cover it up. So this is why that case is there. And it also protects it from bumps and bruises, stuff like that. <clears throat> Go to maps. Let's see how fast it can locate me. Cool. Located me. That's great. Pretty quick right there. Usually it's supposed to take a whole bunch longer. But uh let's see, let's see. I guess that's pretty much it about this ROM. It's not too much I can go into without being redundant. So, this is Paul Winner. Just press the subscribe button up top. And if you want to stay up with my latest videos, please do subscribe. I come out with videos pretty frequently, as you might already have seen them all. Hopefully, you will see them all. So, this is Paul Winner again. Please subscribe if you want to keep up with the latest updates.